What up, Slaughter Gang? We back with part two, like I promised y'all and told y'all I would have for y'all already. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's jump right into this and let's see what else he got to say, man. Three, five niggas, then you know this you like I you this your addiction, nah. Like I can't roll up unless it's four grams. I don't know why. I just I don't can't. Know no four grams can fit my papers. You can see, man. Four grams can fit in them papers. Four grams is fit in it. I can fit four grams in that paper yeah. right now. It's the blue paper though. Yeah, I can put that up, man. You see that? Uh, I can see see that right in there. Yeah, good shot. I can put five grounds in there. Shout out to my family, young nip. Uh -huh. Recipe. You know, I, you know, these came out before nip died. I did these, the backpacks. Yeah, we need some of these. I got you. And it burn blue. That paper burn blue. Blue smoke. Yes, sir. You did. Yes, sir. It burn blue smoke. That's what we is blue but smoke. I, what you gonna do? Did you just say you gonna? Quit lean, you say you gonna quit lean on camera? You said, oh, you didn't say that up. Huh? Why? <laughs> you didn't say that up. Huh? Nah, you didn't say that up. Huh? Nah, I don't drink lean for the job. I drink it because I like how it made me feel. Man, you gotta get off of that, man. Yeah, man, you gotta get off of that. Most definitely gotta get off the lean, Quando Rondo. I most definitely got to get off the lane. That's what probably got you saying all this crazy shit coming out your mouth, man. But let's jump back into it. But I mean, look, you look good, though. You look clean, clean you look strong. You know what I mean? And and I'm really, really just bashing your intelligence. You know what I mean? You're well-spoken. And, 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 you know, you're a sharp youngster, man. I'll let you see. You don't do nothing, so I'll let you tell me. Don't do lean, but some if if he smoke cigarettes and he tell me don't do lean, I'ma tell him you don't smoke cigarettes. Somebody that do something though, they can't really say nothing. Like you can't speak on this because you doing something. I got high before. I got high before. I mean, you know, I just had a deal with my mother that that just went with my thing. Then I got high before. Um, I'm gonna tell you this. I got high one day in the hood. I what? Um, some weed. We was all smoking weed. <laughs> And we was on 10th Avenue, and I must have been about seven, 16 or 17. And some dudes came through and got out. And I was standing there with the two. And I and I'm I'm so high that I don't even know how we got out to, how we got out to the front, but everything was moving. And I'm looking at the car, and I'm saying, "Damn!" I'm looking at the homie, and they shot the homie. And I'm looking, but I'm I'm. I can't move. And then the homies, I see everybody running. And niggas is, you know, moving around. And they're like, Charles, you had the burner. Charles, you had the burner. And I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, I do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that would mean you start smoking That's weed. Me. I, ain't, I ain't got high. I, I, and look, you know, one time, and one of the homies that I was with, with me right now, so right? This 2012, so right? I ain't smoke weed, but they did. Right. One of the homies that's over there right now, so right? Went funny as hell. So they rolled up. I'm trying to be cool. So I hit the joint. I'm smoking the weed. I'm smoking the weed. They stopped me smoking weed for like seven years. Right. I swear to God, before I got in music, I ain't do no drugs at all. Uh -huh. Literally, 2018 is when I started back doing drugs. But look, this 2012, I remember this like this was yesterday. All the smoking weed, we smoking. We smoking, I keep hitting the weed, the weed finally hit me. Right. Next thing you know, it's like my, it's like every bad thing I ever been did, did. It's like it been playing in my head. My heart dropped, my nuts got sick and white. I hopped up, ran, jumped the wall. On my way running home, I'm, I'm, I'm asking God, God, please with this home, I ain't gonna never get high again. <laughs> Oh God, I ran, got in the shower, down some milk, all that, and still ain't work. I still been high. Man, my grandma come on. I've been tripping so hard. I thought I seen Jesus. Right. Literally, I'm looking at the door and like I seen God. My grandma, this I knew God was real. My grandma started, I told her what I did. You know how grandma do. My grandma thinking I'm on some hard type so drug. Real shit. You feel me? My grandma went to pray and it's like the whole hour. <laughs> Why well, I ain't smoked for seven years, boy. Hey, that's crazy, though. Y'all know exactly what he be talking about. When a motherfucker be that chopped on God and 
You know what I'm saying? It sort of scare you away from the chopness. You know what I'm saying? Make you not want to parlay a little, a little more. Like, but you know, I think I think that's where beginner smokers sort of gotta get used to it, gang. You know, but let's keep going. Boy, then when I got older, I just used to be like, man, it's just my mind. You feel me? Even when I join oh. lean, I tweak out. Like, I be tweaking out like in my head, like, like. I might be standing up and feel like I'm falling back, but I be like, no, I'm just leaning. That why, oh God, that why, that why when I, I don't like driving when I'm leaning. Cause well, I hope you don't be driving. Man, you can't. <laughs> That's how a lot of young niggas be dying too out here, y'all. Y'all know that shit, niggas be drinking that lean and driving. Like, come on, gang, y'all already know that shit distort your brain. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Y'all gotta be smarter than that, young niggas. Probably talking about leaning. <laughs> you gonna be leaning on the side of the road, y'all. Nah, don't do that, man. Yeah. How old is he? No, she is a little girl. Uh -oh, a good little girl. She knows. won. She won? How'd that feel? When you first hold it in your hand. Did you feel the responsibility of the world? Yeah, when I first seen her born, I was shocked. Oh, you was in? Yeah. Well, well, you was, wait, wait, I you almost was... ain't been there. But you actually, what, did you cut the thing? I did all that. You cut the biblical cord? Yeah. Ooh, that shit crazy. For sure. Make you feel like that. I'm going to wait before I get back in that. Nah, <laughs> I ain't going to lie. That job made me look at every girl different. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, y'all do all that. <laughs> I told you. Make but I've been talking to my girl and John when she was having a baby. Cause she was really tripping out. Yeah, they go through, they go that like that last. I got, I got five kids, so I was blessed to be there for three of them. The oldest one I went there, the youngest one, no, not in the middle one I went there. Um, so, but the other ones I was blessed to be there when uh, when it was born, and that's something that you would never forget. Facts. I almost missed out on that job. On my way yeah. to the hospital, I got a toy with a nigga and slapped a nigga in the hospital. But At the hospital? I swear to God. Goddamn, boy. How old was you? That was 20. You, you, you yeah, I was 20 years old when I had my baby. You 22. You were 21. I'm 22 now. 21. No, I was 21 when I had my baby. Hey, how, now, how you end up slapping a dude in the hospital? Ran into a nigga from, I, I had my baby in my own Right, though. Like, how you end up doing that, man? That's just being goofy and childish. And y'all know how that be sometimes. Niggas be like that. I don't know. One thing, but oh. I think the problem's still there. And some niggas knew I was having a baby. Because they were like, what he told him the same the exact same amount of money this nigga spent on lean he can take that money and go buy five lots in the hood in his neighborhood to be exact definitely if he really want to put on for his people and he really want to put some of them niggas on you know what i'm saying which ain't a bad idea gang if you a real nigga you know what i'm saying that's a real nigga shit like that's 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 a real nigga move most definitely like um why wouldn't you? It's so beneficial. It's so beneficial. I mean, it's pros and cons to it, but I say majority pros you receive from it than cons. So, you know, like, that's some information a big OG supposed to give a motherfucker, you feel me? Like, the shit Wack 100 was pulling my nigga was just all over the board. This right here, I like big you questioning and, and some of the shitty you know, like responding with as far as like the OG advice. He not just trying to drill on him about the Vine situation at all. And I'm not gonna lie, gang. I was I was ready to hear this juicy information because I already know Quando was gonna say some goofy shit. Hey, and I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know until the end of the video and we all find out together. Like I said, let's keep going. Yeah, I 
least a portion of every dime you make should go buy a property. Right now. Man, I ain't gonna lie though. You know what? Yeah, that, that's a nigga gonna do that for sure. But you gotta start you doing that. You gotta start doing that. What's that? Or uh, like another rapper, cause this guy. Nah, man. Let me tell you about rappers. I've been investing in rappers for years. Here go the pride of rappers. You put a lot of money in a rapper, the nigga catch a case. You know what I mean? And you put a lot of money in rappers once he make it, they get upset with you on this. And, and, and this me, just me, just giving you a heads up right now. By you still being an artist and you at the beginning part of your career, if, if, if you still building you and you moving an artist around, Every time he don't get the success you getting, he going to feel some kind of way. So if you don't have a team that's going to actually help focus on that artist to make sure that artist is moving and that they comfortable, it'll backfire on you. I watched it happen with Ludacris. He not lying, y'all. Listen to him. I watched it happen with a lot of artists. I watched it happen with, with almost all the artists who had other artists that they signed at the time of their career. You know what I mean? So be, I'm just telling you as a big homie to be conscious of that. It's good to help your homeboys and, and, and probably help finance their career, give them that, that's good, and then putting them on with you. But I wouldn't want to sign him. I'd rather have him get signed to somebody else and maybe sign him and then I'm pushing him through somebody else. So that burden ain't on you because I've seen it happen. But look, though, I lie to you not. I always thought like that, like, First of all, bit, bro, if I want to help somebody in rapping, I'm not about to be. Like, a lot of people do it. There's nothing wrong with it. That's how it was with me. But if I'm looking for an artist, I'm not about to be looking in no other city. I'm looking at my city. And Don't nine you. times out of ten, like, the person who I'm thinking about helping is my little homeboy. And to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, man, bro, I'm about loyalty. Anybody that's with me will let you know, like, if I don't stand on nothing, I stand on that for sure, bit, bro. Like, loyalty, like, nothing else matter but that. Because loyalty, when you feel me, I just stand on loyalty. But look, though, my little partner, I, I really Get him a that. team. What I'm trying to tell you is get him a team. If you're going to do that, if you're going to sign anybody you with, make sure he has a team. Make sure he has his own management team. Make sure he got the people that's moving with him, a stylist, a, 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 a publicist. You don't want, and then they gonna use you to help brand him. You can brand that person, right, and help move him around. But make sure it's a team. You know what I mean? That's gonna be focused on that person. You know what I mean? Getting him where he's going, not yours, because right. your that's team right. gotta move you, and you don't want to have him. I've been there, you know what I mean? Like, I, I've really been there. I'm not telling you something that I haven't been there. And I've seen people get disgruntled because you put a video up on World Star and I'm up to do 10 million. He put a video up on World Star, people don't really know him. He only do 100,000. But you've been there, put the same amount of money into your run that you put into his run. You know what I mean? And they start feeling some kind of way. So I've just been there. I'm just trying to, you know, like, let you know that what you got to invest in, too. It's great to do the music, but you got to get the property because guess what? What feeds your generation? Your generation, your daughter, your daughter's kids are going to be wealthy off of the, the property you buy. For sure. You understand what I'm saying? Think about it like that. Think about it. If you bought 10 houses in your neighborhood where you grew up at and you don't do never put a management team, one of your homeboys, they just go out and manage it. You get some you get some dudes that know how to do construction. They go through every month, every week to make sure these houses are up to par. You collect the rent. That property going to take care of your kids when your career is over. And, you're, and you moving and you got to do a, a major company. You sitting in a big ass office in Savannah, but you got 100 pieces of property. You know what I mean? That's how that works. That's how you prepare for the future. Investing in artists is great, but invest in land. Because the one thing a motherfucker ain't going to never take from you is land. Can't nobody pick no land up and walk around the corner with it. Let's go to, you know what I mean? They can take your car. They can take your your watches, your rings. That's three pieces of property right there, that watch. You put it in the safe for nothing. You can walk in there and get the safe. Take the whole safe and it's gone. Get what he... Now, uh, 
I should have probably stopped it a while back, but dog, y'all heard what he just told him. And you know, no bullshit, no kid, you're not like dog. Everything that just came out of Big U mouth, everything he just told Quando Rondo, my nigga, was absolutely correct. Like he didn't front his move, he didn't lie to him, he didn't fib to him, he didn't try to keep it straight. None of that bitch ass shit. He told him straight like a uh uh Older black male should tell a younger black male trying to have a career and something for his kids. To, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's some real shit, man. That's the realest shit I heard so far out this interview. And I respect that. Big U, shout out to you, man. Like, big ups on that. Most definitely. And you could tell what you're saying. You know, touch Quan, though. Like, you could just look at him and tell. Like, look. You feel me? It's hitting him. What he ain't gonna do? Once that deed is recorded, he like even damn. if they take the deed, he like damn. I should have been did all this. He chopped too though. He like damn. I should have did all the this. The land gonna still be in your name until you sell it. So they can have your deed, but they can't pick your land up and take it. Think about that. That's your major investment. And guess what? It continues to grow. It can, the land is the only thing that's gonna continue to go and gain in value. Gonna, oh God! Like big ups, big you bad. On that note, man, on that advice, man, on that on that jewel, uh, on that knowledge uh, piece right there, man. You know, you can't find that nowhere else, man. And it ain't too many cats out here giving that type of knowledge, gang. And um, <clears throat> I think most of y'all can agree with me, man. So let's just continue, though. Continue again. Once you pay for that watch, you put them diamonds on it, that watch went down. You put value, you put diamonds that cost more than the watch into the watch, but the watch itself loses value. And what is a lot of rappers out here doing, y'all? Y'all heard what he just said? You put the diamonds in the watch that make the watch value go down. What is a lot of rappers out here doing? These niggas going right away and ice that motherfucker out ASAP. Wasting all their motherfucking money on jewelry with these other motherfuckers making them rich. You feel me? Instead of spending that money in their own neighborhood with their own people, gang. And and look what they doing. They asshole backwards out here, my nigga. Like the hip-hop world has took a twist. And Big U sort of said it out of his mouth, you know? Once you take the, the, the Bentley off the lot, it loses value. The land, the only thing will continue to gain in value. I got these questions I got to ask you, right? So, so my show is, is called Checking In. So now, if somebody comes to your town, right, and then they're checking in with you, um, where are you going to take them to eat? Grandma. Grandma. So where grandma cooking then, man? What's happening? What's on the menu? My grandma cook for no reason. <laughs> so what she cooking? She burning. Yeah, my grandma known in my hometown. She walk around and sell food. And no matter who I oh, got. Oh, so she sell food. Yeah, don't matter who I'm. Now I got a hundred different ops in my town. Um, just put it like that. And it's to the point. That point with them. But they see my grandma and ain't nothing. You feel me? Right, they respect. I mean, for one, the reason I paused it the first time, I was finna say, you know, if I was him, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't be putting that type of information out there. You feel me? That my grandma walk all over the town, blase, whoopty, selling plates or whatnot, whatever. You know, I feel him. He ballsy, and um, that's him. You know, he felt he can do that. Um, but then you heard what he followed up with. He said, man, I got ops all over the town. And that right there, I feel like that was a stunt move right there. He just, you know, fronted out his mouth. And I can't lie to y'all. Let me tell you why. I think he tried to cover up for even releasing that type of information, letting motherfuckers know, you know what I'm saying, on this interview, that his grandma walks around the town he's from selling food, you feel me? So basically, man, and it wouldn't be hard to find him if they could find his grandma, and if his grandma wouldn't give up no information, y'all already know how that go. Um, you know, that that's why I said I think what he followed it up with, you know, that came out of his mouth. I think that was a cover-up statement to sort of uh, wash out the uh, leaked information he just leaked about his granny. But let's continue, gang. Right there. Yeah. And she cooking like that. Okay. Where you taking, where you taking me to go eat? I mean, where you taking me to go get some clothes from? Overdive What's the proper clothes spot? The Overdive Mall. Overdive Mall? So, 
But, man, it's 2021, and I know you notice this everywhere, especially in Savannah, everywhere else, people trying to sell their clothes. Mm. So it's a lot of people wanting their own stuff. Smart. What yeah. I need to get into. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, where the baddest women hanging at? Women everywhere. In Savannah, though, man. I'm in your town. I'm checking in with you. I'm coming to your town to check in. I what ain't going to lie. There's something people don't know. Savannah got some bad females. Like, look, two rappers, like Lil Baby and Future, both of their girls from Savannah. Oh, okay. Like, it's some good-looking girls in Savannah. And everybody that go down, they tell me that. All right. What's the club we hit? What's the hottest club in Savannah we're going to hit? I like... It's a new club called My Favorites. I be seeing all my people go at. I know I ain't been there yet. I don't really, you feel me? When I go down there, I don't really go out like that because the police harass me. Right. You feel me? But it's a new club called My Favorites. And from what I see, it be going down. Mm-hmm. The nigga caught himself. He said, I like, it's a club called My Favorites. And then he tried to switch it up and say, my people go there. You know, I ain't never been there yet. Well, how in the hell you like it? You know what I'm saying? I know you just ain't going off of what everybody telling you, Quando Rondo. And if so, man, you moving too sloppy out here. That mean every move and decision you have made so far that we all have seen you make, you know what I'm saying, on the outside looking in has been based off what somebody else liked or told you about. Definitely if you never experienced a lot of this shit. You feel me? I think Quando just trying to, you know, keep his trail clean and light on this interview. You feel me? Okay, well, what's the popping strip club out there? It's a club called Karma, but it's really in Hardyville, South Carolina, but that's like 30 seconds from Savannah, but that's really our club. Right, right. That where all the Savannah people be at, so Karma. Karma, okay. Um, club Karma. Easy call, man. So I just want to know, like, when are you going to buy that first piece of property? I'm about to do that ASAP, man. Give me like 60 days. Okay, I'm going to give you 60 days to buy that. I want you to check back in. I want to make sure that you got that first piece of property. All right? First time ever, World Star presents the Grandocious. Man, man, I ain't trying to break up on my girl or nothing like that. <laughs> one time I went this famous girl in L.A., famous girl, she... Big. Okay. Man, I can't get up. <laughs> I can't get up, man. You can't leave. I can't leave. I can't get up, man. I think about it every day, man. Hey, God, I didn't blame it on the drugs. I'm like, I'm too high, man. I can't do it. Okay, we got to give us another one, man. All right, another one. Grand doses was me. It could be funny. Yeah, whole story, man. I only got two minutes though. That's a long time. You ain't been but 20 I'm thinking, seconds. I'm thinking. Uh, I need one of them to remind me of something. Well, then tell him to come in here. They're going to help him with a grandosis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one grandosis moment. Okay. Hey, listen, I. So I'm with my partner, Dirt. So, right? It seems like every time. Come in, come in, come in. Look, every time, every time I get in some f up job, not, not no violent f up job, but one of those situations I'm going to be with him. So one time I'm with him, we walking through the mall, so right? So, so, so he always trying to tell me to chill on them, bro, you got to chill, you feel me? So we walking through the mall, so girls talking trash. This one, I ain't have no mind, you feel me? So I told the girl, and I'm like, I'm like, B-I-T-C. Oh, about to ask you about that. What's up, I'm like, look, I'm like, who you talking to? She like, you. And he so said, you know I'm about to ask you about that. He hot right on his head, bro. About that here. Hey, but I was trying to peep down. I'm trying to see what this nigga sleeve say when he walked in and came to sit down. Let me see about that. Uh, uh, let me see, y'all. <clears throat> Every time I get in some elk up job, not, not no violent elk up job. Okay. I have a one of those. Okay, all right. I thought that said LTF. 
I'm like, dog, Goofy is a bitch. They goofy. How they playing? I ain't know. Situation got to be with him. So one time I'm with him. We walking through the mall. So right. So, so, so he always trying to tell me to chill, bro. You got to chill. You baby. So we walking through the mall. Mm -hmm. So girls talking trash. This one I ain't have no mind. You feel me? So I told the girl. And I'm like, I'm like, B.I.T.C. Oh, that shit, but what's up? I'm like, look, I'm like, who you talking to? She like you. So I was walk, walking up on her because I used to be kind of retarded. He like, look, my chick, but boy, you can say tell her the, the female pepper sprayed us to the ground. <laughs> listen, we hard in the, listen, my other partner put a gun out like the killer girl. We like, no, chill, chill. We, listen, he get us to the car. So we driving the car to go to Kroger's to get some milk, you feel me? Because we pepper spray. The police blue light us. We got three guns in the car. I'm a convicted felon and they're a convicted felon. He had a warrant from the police, man. we like, why the police? They behind us. He got away from these tiny lights. Like, why he pepper spray? We got a Kroger's. Everybody like, Quanta Wanda, Quanta Wanda. We busted through the running. We ran to the aisle, got the milk, pulled it all in our eyes. I love myself. <laughs> so, boom, after that. We get to the house, the pepper spray still burned. This nigga sister walked out with a water hose spraying us. Like, I swear to God. Just like on Friday, some crazy job, boy. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming, nephew. We're going to keep building. Ah. In a two and one. And look here. You can't get no better than this. We check it in. We got Quando Rondo. Hey. <clears throat> Biggest shook up and everything at the end game, but man, yeah, man, that's my my take on it, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. What y'all think about the uh, the interview, man? Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section, man. If you haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you have, hit that like and that share and that notification bell. And let's get these views up. And y'all, let me know <clears throat> what's up, man. To the next video, Connor Slaughter out.